What's going on guys, my name is Daniel and welcome to part 10, round 8 of competition here in the Holden Cup side playing against the Penrith Panthers at home. Looks like it's our third week in a row where it's been raining. Lots of wind there, you can see on that uh, wind markers there, so just got to keep an eye on that today. It looks like it's blowing left to right, so we'll just try and remember that for as long as we can here in today's game and um, just go from there. Hopefully we can get the victory. And I was just trying to um, come together and think of some more ideas for my videos and some ideas to chuck in videos and stuff. And I was just watching a few other random um, YouTubers and stuff, just trying to find out their kind of style. A lot of them obviously do like the cut up um, highlights of the Be A Pro, or they just do the full game like I do, which like, I obviously prefer the full length game. So then being a halfback, um, pretty much going to be involved with just about every play of the ball. So I can't really, um, you know, cut up videos and, and do it with highlights and put two videos, uh, sorry, two games in each uh, video. But I, I can just... Oh, here we go. Hold up. Try and muscle our way over. Um, <clears throat> so I just do the live commentaries for the full-length game. As, as I said, uh, being a halfback, is, we're pretty much going to be involved in the play the whole game. Uh, there's not really much time when we're not involved. As we pick up the first try of the game here, Justin Norfolk, I think it was, our fullback. Nice cut-out pass straight into the open gap. And pretty close to the uh, goalpost there for our kick. And lucky I... Didn't move it too much then, but we'll take this kick here and get back into this game. But as I said, I, I prefer doing live commentaries just because, um, I, like, as being the, the halfback, I'm involved in just about every play um, of the games. Hopefully bounce that over, yeah. I'm involved in just about every play of the game, so to cut it up, it wouldn't really do much to the time um, of the, like, the whole time length of the video. It'll still be around 14 to 15 minutes, so we're going to call it. Pass it off. Um, so yeah, doing those uh, highlights isn't going to change too much. We're going to hopefully call it back on the inside here and score this try. Sure, quickly. There we go. Um, so yes, that 10th try as well. Uh, but as I said, yeah, we can't really cut it up. So hope you guys don't mind these full-length gameplays. I enjoy doing it this way, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. But let's have a look at this replay. Pretty much straight off the kickoff, I think it was. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we ran or we caught it, got into a gap, got the offload off which gave our uh, winger, I think it was, plenty of space down this right-hand side. There's the offload there, and I went to the fullback, and he pretty much could have ran away and scored the whole thing after bouncing off that player, but we were pretty much open in the middle. Why not call for it and get the points under the black dot? So let's get this conversion, and I'll take it out to a 12-point need. What a start to this game. Uh, playing at home, as I said earlier in the video against the Penrith Panthers, they are currently sitting in 11th position on the table, and we're sitting in 9th. So, I'll, I'll, I'll take the early lead here, and then we can start concentrating on the uh, defence into it late, into the end of the first half and the second half. So, not a bad way to start this game off. Please leave a like if you do go on to enjoy today's episode. Uh, even if you only check out this first few minutes, come back later. I don't mind. As, as long as you guys, you know, uh, view them and enjoy them, I'll, I'll continue to do what I do. So, let's get another offload here, going down this left-hand side. Looks like we might make another breakaway here. We could probably score again. We're going to call it again, and we're going to go for it here. Oh, shit. What kind of a start to the game is this, guys? This is straight off the kickoff. We're getting returns 90 metres back down the other end of the field, and we're scoring off the kickoffs. We're already at two tries and two conversions. Can we take it out to three converted tries? Let's just go left just a little bit. Can we take it out to three converted tries here in the first half? And there it is, three from three. We've scored two. What a start to this game, guys. This should really boost our confidence going into this second half. And we're only 13 minutes in. I look at the record and it's four and a half minutes, but that's crazy to think that we've been playing four minutes and we've already scored three tries, two of them coming from our own player. So we're going to probably see if we can do the exact same thing here. Call it. Cut it back in. Call it. And he's going to get wrapped up. All right, so they're on to us. I'm going to let my stamina rebuild now. We've been involved in the last um, very long running play, so we need to get some fitness back in us. You can see our blue area there filling up. We're going to call it left here, get a couple of metres and put my 5 eighth off me. I'm going to step. There's the off oh, and he's knocked it on. What's he doing? All right, so defensive time now. We've, we've had our big offensive flourish. Now it's time to start defending this line, making sure these guys don't get any points. Let's see if we can hold this lead for as long as we can. Uh, in this first half, hopefully don't let them go over the line, but I want to talk to you guys uh, about some 
Um, oh, there's the interception. Uh, I want to talk about a few things now. I know, as, as I mentioned in the Daniel Challenges You video about some YouTubers that I, I figured deserve to get a shout out, I want to know who you guys watch um, on YouTube and possibly who even is your favourite now. I know, like, I know you probably don't want to choose like a, an actual favourite, but if, if you do choose, it's awesome to know. But I just like to know who everyone watches on on um, YouTube with Rugby League Live Free. I myself, I only watch a couple, mainly those channels I mentioned uh, in the challenges video, the shout outs. I only really watch them, but there are a few other channels obviously getting around um, on, on YouTube to watch. So I just want to know who you guys prefer to watch, uh, the content, their kind of style and, and what it is that you know makes you guys tune in. We're going to call it here, see if we can dip this in just into the 40-20 range. Uh, the wind's going to smash it back infield. But it's all right. Let's wrap this guy up. Take that tackle there. But yeah, I just want to know who you guys watch. If you can just let me know in the comments, that would be awesome. If you, and if you have any um, YouTubers you'd like me to play with, then let them know that you want um, to see videos because I don't know who knows about my channel. I know a couple of people, a couple of other YouTubers probably do know, but a uh, majority of them probably don't, seeing as I'm the smallest rugby league channel. But I just... I want to know who you guys, and then as I said, if, if you want to see me play some videos or play some games with them, let them know um, on their videos, you know, tell them, hit me up, tell them to come see me, uh, that you want to see us make videos together, because I want, as I always mentioned, I want this community to grow, the only way we're going to do it is as a, you know, community together, so 67 metres gain off that uh, tackle of sets there, cut across here, looks like it's going to go out, and f oh, it's going to be allowed to bounce, it's going to bounce up and it's going to go out, thank God. Very close to actually conceding first points against us there. Uh, late in his first half. So we're just going to get the runner off us, I think. Because they pretty much tackle us very quickly out of the scrum. I don't know what it is, but they wrap us up very quickly. So tackle one there. Ten metres out. I'm going to call it left here and get my second row back on the inside. Oh, this big gap opens up on this right inside. I'm going to take another step. I went for the offload there, so lucky he didn't push it off. Second tackle there, 23 metres out from our own line. Let's see what we can do. Final few plays of this first half. Let's call it back around here. Get the offload off anyways. And it went forward apparently. It's alright. Let's defend this last minute or so. And then um, end this first half. With a quite substantial and overwhelming lead. It's pretty crazy. Um, the lead we've racked up here. So tackle one there. 20 metres out. 30 metres out from the line. Let's call it left here. Make sure our defence is on point. Nice tackle there. Wrap him up. And that's the end of the first half. Let's not screw around. Let's have a quick look at our settings, actually, and see what our rating. We're already at 89 rating. Look at that. Great way to start. Let's get into the second half. 18 points up. We're currently on the way to the make the 180 metres, and we did give away a error, so that error challenge has been uh, failed. So let's get the second half underway. Hope we can get this win. Get some extra points at the end of the match for the match performance bonus, which should be pretty big, uh, considering the amount of tries and points we've got on the board uh, in today's matchup. So we're going to push it down this left-hand side. Nice run. Tackle two. I'm going to call it left here. And he's going to run it anyways. Push it back on that left-hand side. Tackle three. Um, this wind's still pretty heavy, so let's see if we can call it wide. Get it on this right-hand side. I'm going to stand here, and I'm just going to call it so hopefully they start spreading it. Oh no, big interception. Hopefully this fullback will make that tackle. Wow. That's such a shame to give that ball away so early on in this second half. We're just going to stay in behind this line. Watch these offloads. Oh, he stepped past us. He's going to get close to the line there. He's nearly going to be close to scoring. Tackle two. We're going to watch his scoot. There's the scoot. Uh, I thought that marker was offside. I'm going to call my men left and stay on this right-hand side myself. He's very close to the line, nearly a forward pass. Let's call our men back right. Let's get up on him as quickly as we can. And there's probably going to be a gap form on this left-hand side. And that's going to be tackle five, 46 metres gained. We need to be on our toes with this. And there's the grubber through. Is it going to go dead in goal? And it does, thank God. Uh, very close to conceding a try there early in this second half. Lucky we were just on point. Is that, I thought that was a referee. Um, we're just on point with our defence and... Luckily got out of there unscathed and unharmed. We're going to run this centre supporting run here. I don't know what my player was doing. He was accelerating looking in the wrong direction. So he pretty much just went whatever direction we were looking. And he's going to make a couple extra metres off that. Nice run there for a gain of about 10. Let's call it left here. Get a couple of metres ourselves. Step to the right. 
big, big step there to gain an extra meter after passing him. Get off me for that tackle there. Tackle free, about 32 meters out from the Panthers' defensive try line. We're going to run this support and play, and he's going to get wrapped up there, 30 meters out. See what they decide to do, and we'll just hang around with it. Come to center run. And he's going to wrap us up. Tackle five, 57 meters gain. Hopefully they go a smart option here. Let's call it back. Oh, what's he doing? Hand over ball. It might have been a bit of a bad call trying to go that um, pass back, but the hook had gotten away. It was coming to me. He just got in the way. He's cutting behind this line here. Watch that interception there. Tackle one. About 30 metres out. We're going to come across there. Went for a dive and tackle, but just couldn't pull it off. Tackle two. We'll stay in this defensive area. Come across here. Uh, keep pressure on these runners. Let's tackle three there. About 38 metres out from the line. I think they're just going to continuously run it up here. Maybe get a couple more offloads. Tackle five. Let's call our wingers back in case they go for an early kick. Dogs barking in the background. Almost got a strip on him then. Tackle five. Let's put some pressure. 35 metres gain off that six. Charge down. Didn't even get the hands up. And fullback wasn't even dropped back, even though I called the wingers back. So, we'll start our attack here from about our 25 metre line um, towards the Panthers' end of the field. Let's just see what they can do. I'm going to call around the back here and cut that off. There's a nice double offload there. Big run there to bang, uh, bounce off him and gain an extra few metres. We're going to call it right. Make sure he comes right. I don't know why they always um, go left there on that short side when there's not much options. Tackle four. Let's just keep working this ball up here. Taking time. Taking time to, um, you know, just pretty much waste time as well. Let's just hold it here. We're probably going to put a nice high bomb up into the attacking zone. Oh, God, I'm facing the other way. I'm going to go for chip and chase. Oh, it's bounced off the player. Knock on. And we've got the ball back. So Panthers have knocked the ball on there. We have got a chance at another set of six. Let's see what we can do. Big step there. Nice offload. And he's wrapped up 10 metres out from the line. We're going to go left here for a nice quick scoot. Oh, no, we're not in hooker. All right, sorry about the little break there, guys. I had interruption, as always. It's always expected here. So let's see if we can finish this attack and set off strong. Um, we did get that turnover or another set of six, so let's see what our team can do here. We're going to call it left here. Oh, they're going to go right anyways. Big gap opens up, and he's going to dive over. Craigfield scores right next to the uprights. No need to even really watch that replay, but there it is there. Sees the open gap. Accidentally pressed A straight away. So it looks like we need to just take just a second to realign that and then get that power. Hopefully we're right enough, and there it is. Pushes it over. Four from four today's conversion rate. Very happy with our performance. 73rd minute here. We're up 24 nil. This is going to be a boost to our for and against, as well as just our personal performance overall at the end of the season. Uh, sitting in, what, 13 minutes into the game, we're at a rating of 89. So it's a pretty uh, substantial rate in there. Uh, early on, after scoring two tries, converting three, uh, I'm very, very stoked with how this game has uh, happened or how it's unfolded here. Just get that offload off there. Get those extra meters down this left-hand side. Hopefully he can get that ball off, but he doesn't. He's wrapped up about 35 meters out from the line. We're going to call it up here on our speed run. Let's go. Well, they're going to go left anyways. I don't know why they always go short side. Tackle free. 24 nil here at Pertec Stadium. He's going to wrap us up as soon as we get the ball. We didn't really want that there. Tackle four. This game's just about to wrap up. We might see if we can pat the stats here for 40-20 late in this second half. But the, oh, and he's gone for it anyways. What an idiot. I don't know why he went for that. I don't even know who that was that went for the kick. But hopefully we can stop this uh, attacking play. Minute, 80th minute of the game, and we are up 24-0. What a way to end today's game. Let's have a look. There it is. The man of the match performance. Two tries uh, to us. One to Norford, one to Field. Four converted tries. Uh, very awesome pat. Uh, stats to Pat there. Let's have a look at our play rating of a 98. So that is pretty much a perfect game, guys. I don't know what to do, what to say. Hopefully we get an awesome match bonus out of this. Let's check out what we've got and see if we can upgrade anything overall here. Uh, very stoked with that performance. Please leave a like. I think this really does deserve at least 15 likes on today's video. Uh, it's been quite an awesome game. I'm very stoked with the way it's ended. Scoring two tries ourselves and kicking four for the team so it looks like we didn't have anything to upgrade let's check out who our next matchup will be for the next video and it's going to be the west tigers so sitting in eighth position now let's have a look there currently on nine points overall so not too bad 
um, start to the season. I think we're at four wins, yeah, four wins, three losses, one draw. So I'm stoked with so far our uh, matchups and the way we've played. So that's going to do today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. As I said, 15 likes would be awesome for one of our best performances in a season game matchup here. So. As I said, thanks for tuning in, guys. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're a new viewer. I'd really appreciate that. Share the video around. Go let everyone else know that I want to play from Jared, Sane. Let them all know I want to play. And let's see if we can get some videos together. My name is Daniel, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace out.